And yeah, man, you know, we just went, went ham on this dude, you know what I'm saying? Like, like he was yelling for, for a while, then he stopped yelling, then he just started like, hearing like him trying to scream, but he couldn't talk no more. It was just, this is the most blood I ever seen, you know what I'm saying, in my life. And, uh, and we thought he was dead. Yellow clips blocking in the house in my road. Gotta make a pretty dog show light when cold. Just left con call. No care lot. I was licking on booty in the whole lot of vagina. Eat a booze with some ice cream. Sure, remember you. Ice cube, make a chip. Shiver like the wind. Do do see me with the crew. I done get some food. I see you looking like you do. I done make a move. Make a move. Going back into your, your personal story. Do you care to tell us? Some of the things you started getting involved in at an early age and how old were you when you first got arrested and had to do some type of time? For sure, for sure, man. Like, well, I got jumped in when I was like, I want to say around 13, seventh grade, eighth grade, you know, 13. Because I caught my first case when I was 14. So I, I started moving pretty quick, you know, because like every other kid that joins a gang, you, you want to build your name, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's just it's just a kid shit, or you know, when you join the gang or whatnot, you know. So, so I started beefing, uh, having gang fights or whatnot, you know. But how I ended up in uh, in jail was um, there were I had a neighbor, you know, he was a little drunk, he was uh, just a drunkie, you know. And uh, my mom used to go wash, you know, her clothes or whatnot, and he post up right there in the corner, you know, and uh, he disrespected her, you know. And you know, you, you're gonna fight for mom dudes all day. You know, anybody who's well, sounds... your mom, that, that's, that's, that's fire, right? That's on sight, you know? So my mom had told me something like that, that this dude had disrespected her and I knew who he was, you know? And uh, so it was on, you know what I mean? She told me that, I was like, I'm gonna find this guy and we're gonna get this guy. And um, and one day we was chilling with my homies in, in the trap house, we were drinking, you know, doing some cane. You know, because most of my homies were older, you know, they all did cane, so dope. And I used to look up to that. I thought I was dope, you know. And um, and it's a small world and a coincidence that uh, they're like, hey, we're going to go to this house and we're going to drink, you know. And Lord and behold, it was that dude right there. You know, I was already a little tipsy. So, you know, it was nothing for me to go start some shit, you know. And, um, and he was there. You know, and I didn't know at the time that my uncle and his wife, they lived there in one of those rooms, you know? So they kind of told my mom kind of what happened afterwards, but I didn't know they were there, you know? Cause I, I guess they were kind of hiding or just doing their own thing. Cause like 10 of us went up in there to go drink with this guy. But he kind of owed money to my OG in a way too. You know, I didn't know about that, but I seen him and I told my OG, I was like, hey, that's that disrespected my mom like what's up man like what's up you know and he was like well you know well handle them you know you want to box them or what and this guy's 30 i'm 14 years old you know but i didn't care man you know what i'm saying so he took us out to the back you know like all right so i went one more with him i mean we're swinging you know I, he's swinging I, I bust his nose you know what i'm saying and he he punches me i think he swung me by my by my head but i was so drunk <laughs> I like fell, you know, and then like after a little bit, they kind of separate us apart, you know, but then when you're around wolves and they see that little bit of blood, you know, everybody want to do something too, you know, so the other homie was like, hey, you know what, fuck that, I want to scrap him, and I guess he ended up scrapping them too. You know what I'm saying? Because I was just a little homie. I guess they just wanted to see if I was about it or whatnot. You, know what you had a heart. You had a heart. <laughs> so, so they'll put you, you know what I'm saying? They'll put you there. So I did my thing. He did his thing, but he still owed money to this dude, you know? And uh, I was in the living room, right? And um, and we were drinking, you know, doing cane. And in the kitchen, starting hearing some ruckus, right? And boom, five of us jump out the couch. We go to the back, my homie's already swinging on this dude. Dink, dink, dink. You know what I'm saying? I see my homie grab, grab a, a pan. You know what I'm saying? He started busting them with the pan. Beep! You know, other homie gets the, the cutting board. Beep! I start getting bottles. I start throwing it at his head. You know what I'm saying? And other homies start hitting them with the broomstick in the neck. Uh, uh. You know, like, these, these are killers. All these, all these homies right here, they all caught murder cases eventually. You know what I'm saying? So, there was about the business. And, um, 
And yeah, man, you know, we just went, went ham on this dude, you know what I'm saying? Like, like he was yelling for, for a while, then he stopped yelling, then he just started hearing like him trying to scream. You couldn't talk no more. It was just, it was the most blood I ever seen, you know what I'm saying, in my life. And, uh, and we thought he was dead, you know? So we all just dip out, we smashed out, you know? We just left, you know? And uh, and the, fu the funny part is when you're young and you're, you're that age, you do stupid shit. Cause I only lived across the street in the apartments. <laughs> so I didn't live far, you know? So I just walked over there with my bloody pants, you know, I took him to my mom's house with three of my homies. You know, the other homies are like, hold up, I'm gonna go back. You know, like, he's still back, you know? He, I don't know if he was trying to finish them off or what, but uh, then he came back and like, nah, they got yellow tape and whoop de whoop, you know? So like, all right, just fucking chill in here and let it ride, you know, we'll see what happens. Wow, but, yeah, I'm, it happens, man. What, so how did you, how did you get arrested for that? So it took about a month, you know, like, I didn't, I didn't comprehend the severity of this, you know, like when you're that age, you don't know the laws, you know, you don't know none of this, you know what I'm saying? And if you do, then you got a little bit more games than others, but mostly at that age, you, you ain't got no idea about how the law works, you know, or or what. All I kept hearing is through the grapevine aid, I think he's dead, he's dying. You know, my mom even heard about this through the neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? He's dying. So I was like, man, all right, we smoked him. That just made me puff my chest a little bit more, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? I, uh, I'm certified, you know what I'm saying, type of deal, but turned out I think he went to a coma, you know, and um, and back in those days, we had a lot more gangs back in those days, it was a little bit crazier, like everywhere else in 97, you know, it, it was, I think, more lit across the U.S., so we had gang spots, you know, and um, we always post up in the corners, the gang spots would come, and this was about a month later, you know, they'd come down and, um, They'll put us down in the corner, all five, ten of us, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Take up off our shoes, check our fucking socks, see if we got anything. And um, and I don't know if one of the homies or somebody had already kind of got arrested. And they, they threw a different name out. They, they had said Shorty. Don't call me Shorty, call me Silent. You know, yeah. and uh, and so the cops were smart. You know, I was the shortest one. I'm only 5'5", five, five, you know, and uh, I was the shortest one, so... I get, you know, how they work, they're, they're smarter, you know what I'm saying, than us kids, in a way, you know? And um, they said, hey, shorty, and my dumb ass, I look. And they were like, that's the one, you know what I'm saying? So they fucking took me in the cop car, and they were like, hey, well, we want to question you, you know, we're going to take you to the, to the detective's office, we'll talk to you, you know? And um, I was like, all right, fuck, man. So I didn't know what the hell I was going to get into or how this interrogation wow. shit works. Right now, you got the first 48, you know, so you could watch that and kind of see what's, what yeah. they're going to ask you or what not to do, you know? So they started asking me questions, my back again. I tried to talk my way out of it, you know? And that's something you don't do. You just, you know, you just ask for a lawyer. Now I know, right? But um, I'm trying to talk my way out of it. But then I felt like they were starting to corner me, you know what I'm saying? And I feel in a position where, like, you're going to get me to tell on my homies, you know? So I said, you know what? Fuck it. You know what? I did it. And he disrespected my mom. I snitched on myself, you know what I'm saying? This shit like, gee, fucking, he fucking disrespected my mom, you know what I'm saying? So I went ham at him, you know what I'm saying? And, and this is what I did, you know what I'm saying? I did this and I did that, you know what I'm saying? I kind of told them a little bit of what they all did, said I did it, you know what I'm saying? For them, that was enough. They knew there was more motherfuckers, but for them, that was enough, you know what I'm saying? So they booked me in for attempted murder, you know, and, uh, it's because I told him I wanted to kill him, you know, that's something you don't do. <laughs> Tell the cops that kind of shit, you know, yeah. but you're only 14 years old, you know, like shit. But, okay. um, but yeah, 